The news time is 6.38. You might be looking forward to retirement or even enjoying it right now. But for some, after leaving their careers behind, retirement isn't all it's cracked up to be. Caroline Box shows us how two local retirees decided to cope. Carol Larson and Mary Helen Conroy knew when they finished their careers, they still had a lot of life left in them. And that didn't include a rocking chair, at least not yet. They found a way to help others going through the same issue by becoming retiree rebels. It started with a cup of coffee and a conversation. We thought this message needs to get out to a greater audience. Former broadcast journalist Carol Larson and former library administrator, sales exec and educator Mary Helen Conroy bared the career ending shock of retirement. You walk out the door of your retirement party and all that's stripped away. You don't even have a stapler. Saying no to societal norms. My age doesn't mean that I'm suddenly stupid or uh, in decline or <laughs> not capable and don't have the skills that I always had in my life. Marrying Carol's writing and editing skills and Mary Helen's love for technology. Hey there, retiree rebels. Welcome to Kitchen Table Talks. Retiree Rebels was born. You have to realize it's not just you, and it's not yeah. that, you, that you're doing something wrong. A podcast and a means of support and inspiration for the new or nearly retired. You're a retiree rebel. You're a retiree rebel. <laughs> and you can ditch that rocking chair, and you can make your life the best bonus years you've ever had. You've got 20, 30 years left to go. Sit in a rocking chair? I don't think so. Grab some coffee. Go rebels. And enjoy the company. Go rebels. Now, for those of you not familiar, a podcast is basically like a radio show on demand. We'll have information for you to listen to the Retiree Rebels on WKOW.com after the show. Now, in just over a year, Carol and Mary Helen have had 50 different podcasts and more than 8,000 downloads and counting. Brandon and Danny. I'm just